All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank everybody who commented, liked, shared uh, my last chicken chat. Uh, that's what I'm going to be calling this from now on is my chicken chat. Um, so I got a, I got a real big response out of the last one, and I really wanted to uh, kind of clear up some things. You know, I don't. It's not, you know, there, there, there wasn't anything bad or anything negative or whatnot um, for the most part. But um, there were some things that I think I didn't explain very well about monetizing my farm or my homestead here that I really wanted to talk about. Um, I actually wrote down some some uh, some topics that uh, uh, people commented and whatnot and. Um, some people wrote me an email. Some people wrote me on Facebook, you know, so I got a lot of um, feedback from that video that I would like to uh, talk about real quick. All right. So I have to pull up my phone to get my notes that I wrote down. <clears throat> um, so I guess I'll call this one monetizing my homestead part two. Um, first thing I wanted to say was that. I do, I do homestead alone here. So I do all this by myself. It's not the most huge um, organization or, you know, operation here, but it does, you know, I mean, anyone who homesteads, even on a smaller scale, knows that it, it takes quite a bit. And, and when you're doing it by yourself, um, it, it, it requires a little bit more of you. Um, and so I explained a little bit about why I started homesteading, you know, mental health purpose reasons and stuff like that. Um, and so I noticed early on in, in homesteading, they are, they are getting at it today. I know I noticed early on in homesteading that my mental health was definitely improving once I started full time. Um, and with that benefit in mind, I wanted to share that with people. Um, I, I don't go out a lot. Um, I, I'm still dealing with some, some, some things there, but um, I just felt like YouTube was a great avenue for me to you know, put my message out there as far as how being you know, part of the earth, raising chickens, um, tending to my rabbits, tending to my gardens, how that really has improved my mental health. Um, and so a couple of things that I will say as far as monetizing is concerned is that, hey, big boy, you want to take up the whole screen, ain't you? <laughs> he stole the show last time. Uh, go on now. <laughs> Um, I don't want anyone to think that I'm like limiting myself or that I'm not putting forward my, my best, you know, uh, to, to make this homestead grow. Um, basically from that last video, I was just saying that, um, well, Hey, what's the next step? You know, you know, so the next step is to monetize it. Right. Um, Whereas I do think that that's still the next step. I, I try not to take on anything that's like, you know, too much for me to handle at the time. Um, I have to take things slow simply because, like I said, it's just me. So small changes are big changes, you know, in that concern. So um, on that same note, you know, I don't fear failure. Um I don't feel fear adversity. Um, Twenty years in the military, if if you make it that far, you uh, you've conquered both of those things. All right, so let's go on to the next uh, thing. One thing I got the most comments about was kind of how to work around the system and uh, not get in trouble, kind of thing. Um, I I do want everyone to know that I am very conscious of laws and I, I don't want to you know 
I don't want trouble coming down the road, you know. So, y'all, hey, y'all be good back there. And hey, you can't mess with Big Mama up there. That's Big Mama, known as Priscilla. That's that's my mom's name. It's Priscilla. Uh, she passed when I was eighteen, and so Big Mama over there is the matriarch of this of the of the chicken space. She runs it. If they step out of line, you know they got to deal with Big Mama. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, so I don't, I don't, I don't mess around with the gray area too much. Okay. Um, if, uh, if it's, if it gets too gray, I, I, I shy away from it because I just don't need those issues. Therefore, I wanted to clear up that the quantity of chickens, I think I may have said around a thousand or something like that here in Georgia that they regulate so hard was well, 20,000 and below. So let's say I was to, you know, try to do a hundred chickens a month, which I was not even thinking of. That's only 1,200 chickens a year. Um, I just, it, it wouldn't make sense for me to do a hundred chickens and have to price them because basically I would have to pay $5 a piece to get them uh, processed at a USDA you know, certified facility. And so that price would just go on to the chicken. And I just, I mean, you can go to the store and buy $8 chicken, you know, you're not going to want to buy a $22 chicken. It's just, it's just, most people won't is what I'm saying. Uh, and I'm not trying to charge people $22 for a, for a chicken. So that's why that's off the table. I got a lot of other uh, people giving ideas that were great. I love them, you know, giving a class and charging for the class and giving away the chicken for free. Um, um, so I've, I've got a lot of options there. Another person uh, contacted me about selling eggs at the farm stand. And, um, you know, basically here in Georgia, I have to get a, um, a, a candle, a candle light um, certificate or a, uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I have to get that, um, and then I could sell eggs at the at the at my farm stand. As of right now, I'm not venturing over into that area, but that's just good knowledge to know. I am going to do the farm stand with the vegetables. That's a done deal. That's what I'm going to do for sure. And just like I was saying before, with it just being me, is that I. I like to add on a little bit at a time because even the little bit that I've been adding on here throughout the years, I mean, I've been here three years and I get memory photos, you know, in my, in my, on Facebook or whatnot. And I mean, it's amazing how from year to year, how far this place has grown. So eventually I'll do a um, homestead tour to, to show you kind of the progression of this homestead. Um, There were also comments about uh, people who aspire to to have their own homestead and that they were kind of inspired by uh, me talking about, you know, what I talked about in the last video. So I was sitting back thinking, what would my number one piece of advice be for someone who wanted to start a homestead today? And... My number one piece of advice above anything else would be to don't stress over starting slow. Um, because when you look back at it a year from today, you will be so overwhelmed with how much you've accomplished in that year. Another thing um, someone told me on one of my videos, I think it, I can't remember which one it was, but it, they mentioned that I, um, that my process was so simple, you know, pretty much. And I told him absolutely, because there's no sense in making it hard. If you don't have to, there's, there's a way to plant a carrot, a seed from a carrot. There's a way to do it. Now there's a process to, to raising it, but there's not too many ways to actually plant the, the seed. Um, same thing goes for, uh, a tomato or whatever, you know, like, so 
some of the videos are are simple and meant to be simple. Oh. Buddy, you about to get it. He tried to, to, to jump on old Pearl over there. He's one of the baby roosters. But he's going to freezer camp. He don't know it yet. But he tried to jump on old, old Pearl over there. And she was not having it. She already got a man. All right. It won't be long. Where was I at? Um, yeah, so simple. Simple is 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 my approach. Um, there's a lot of knowledge behind that simple, but I don't feel like sitting here using big words and you know all that kind of stuff to to describe something really helps the beginning gardener uh, or just any any gardener or homesteader you know at all. So. The best compliment that I got was that there's no fluff in my videos, which I didn't even think about it at the time. But yeah, I just keep it simple. You know, there's no reason to make it harder than what it already is. If you've been gardening and if you've been, that on spider. If you've been gardening and you've been homesteading, um, you already know how hard it is. So I, I I implement a lot of things to make life easier. Um, and that'll go along with that homestead tour that I will do. I'll show you some of the things that I do around here to, uh, oh, shoot, Roadrunner ain't having it neither. Yeah, he might have to go sooner than later. But, um, anyway, I won't let you, I won't keep you guys here, uh, too much longer. Just wanted to say that I appreciate everybody reaching out, commenting, um, all your advice was great. And, um, yeah, so I'm just, uh, from now, for right now, I'm going to do the farm stand and I'll take y'all along with me when I build it. Um, and once that gets kicked off, it won't be till the spring time when I, when I actually open the farm stand, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. But I appreciate you watching. Um, if you had an opportunity, uh, please, please check out my affiliate links below and my Amazon uh, links. My Amazon link takes you to my storefront that has a lot of homesteading products and whatnot on it. Um, my affiliates, mostly gardening, mostly just gardening. Um, Hoss, um, I always wear my Hoss hat a lot and, um, they were my first affiliate account and I really, really enjoy, like, I, I love them. If you haven't checked out their channel every Thursday, they do a row by row, um, gardening, uh, video. And I mean, you learn so much about, about gardening through that show. At least I know I have, um, I have bootstrap farmer. And I have um, Optics Planet, you know, and a lot of them I have discount codes. So for the discount code, go to my website. It's linked below as well, uh, saltydoghomestead.com. And uh, you'll see a lot of the discount codes there under my affiliate uh, links tab. Well, um, I think that's it for the video. I appreciate you watching. And... I don't know if I'm if y'all can see me or not. <laughs> they stole the show again, but <laughs> I will. <was, laughs> I will see you in the next video.